Hi hey guys, Woody here. Welcome back to this episode 50 of Can't Win Anything With The Kids. We're eighth. We've got two games to go. Oh, where was it since we last left you? I can't even remember. I think it was this one here. Yep, we, we, we played Everton. We beat them in the second leg. That was thrilling. Uh, did I show you us losing to Brighton? Anyway, we lost to Brighton. That was terrible. Uh, we then beat Sheffield United 2-1. Big George and uh, Melchior with, uh, with two goals there. And uh, we then beat what, Southampton 1-0 with uh, Big George Nakaji there. We're sitting eighth. Um, we are literally six points out of Champions League. So goal difference is not as good. So I don't think we're going to get Champions League football, but European football is definitely on the cards again. We have got... Big Brother today, who has sit second, and uh, they can't win the title because Leicester have run away with it. Got Man City, who are fifth in the Europa League final, and then Arsenal, who are 16th. I don't think they're going to get relegated. Nope, because Coventry, Barnsley, and Huddersfield have been awful. Anyway, here's how we're going to line up. Trevor Edmund in goal, Dean and Heath left and right back, Thompson and uh, Burnett in centre of defence. Thompson's a little bit tired, but we do fall in medium. He's not playing too well. Uh, Cosman Illy, Ian Helberg, Mikel Gurney and Big George. Ian Helberg's a little bit tired. Actually, you know what? I have a feeling. Oh no, it's 11 days away. And it's all good. It's all good. Let's go and play Manchester United and hopefully we can beat them. Classic 4 4 2. Some players there Max Aarons, Kyan Hover, um, Declan Rice, Che Adams. I still can't believe Che Adams plays for Manchester United. Anyway. Let's get the game underway and let's try and win. Win would be great, 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 great. This is, I think, this is one of our games in hand. It is. It's the only game happening today. Not much happening though here. Bit of all Manchester United in the black and white at the moment. A win here would see us go to 61 and jump the leads to be just behind uh, Man City. Get in there. Melka uh, up to six. So we are level with Man City just on goal difference. They used to got a game in hand though. <sighs> didn't realize they had so many games in hand. And so the leads. What the hell? Oh, I didn't even see that. That's gutting. West Ham got a game in hand. Ugh. Ugh. Will Gurney, Che Adams, that man that I bagged out there. Obviously. Um one more for half time would be Perfect. <laughs> big, big, big George hugs his manager. And I think, I think, I think, let's just, let's just straight up, straight up. This could be our first win over Manchester United. Now, this is an odd one because I'm like, would we rather beat Manchester United or would we rather, rather beat Man City in the uh, Europa League final? Hmm. That's a tough one, actually. That is a tough one, but we are all over them here. Owen Thompson, he's got an injury. You can get off, my son. And Ian Helberg is just tired. Big George, shin injury. No, we need him. Let's get uh, Liam Miller on. Norka, no, he's all right. We'll just leave it at that. Go on, lads. Get out there. Get in on the action. Show me what you've got. All over menu at this point. Mm, I'd like to keep it that way. <sighs> Chair Bloody Adams. Yeah, and Helberg is dying in the midfield. And well, one more from us, obviously, not them. Defensive, long, normal pressing, no also trap, no behind the wall. We're just we're just sitting and just waiting. Oh William Miller. Oh. That's alright, we'll take that. That is a good, good win. Man of the match is Che Adams. That's okay because we have beaten for the first time ever um Manchester United. I don't even think we've beaten Man City before. No, they've beaten us six times in a row, that is going to be a sucky game. Um, 
I have to put Lynch on the bench and I'll have to put Judy Etten. And we'll probably go with that. Uh, should we play low Christian Load? Loddy? Loddy? Mm, I'm not playing well though, is he? Anyway, let's go. Let's go and play Man City. Hopefully, with a bit of luck, three wins out of three this episode. Oh, fingers crossed. Great, calls me nearly out for a week. Brilliant. It's like he can read my goddamn mind. Alright, here we are. The big day. Our first major, major trophy. And Eric Guerrero. Have a look at this guy. He could be the answer to our central defender problems. He could be. He's aggressive. He's good accelerations. Good decisions. Good dribbling. Captain material. Marking. Positioning. Ha ha ha. Just a poor technique. And we are in the process of buying him for, yes, a ridiculous amount of 18 million. Which would be, now, if um, history uh, records. Is it, have our most expensive transfer in here? Um, is that under players? Um, is, that, is that a thing I'm making up? or There it is. Highest transfer to be paid. James Sims, 5.5. We are going to absolutely smash that. So, everyone is 100%. Let's check the morale. Everyone's morale is good. This is it. Manchester City, we've never beat them. We've just come off of beating Manchester United. We only ever scored five goals against them in six games. So, this is going to be TR. They're lining up in a 4-3-3. Uh, Rory Dillard, Jack Grealish, Dwight, Dwight McNeil. Right, here we go. Let's keep the game off. This is one of the biggest games in our in our short, not, I'd say short history. Oh my god, and it's Captain KD after six minutes. Hold the phone. Hold the phone. It is all red at the moment, but obviously their rigger gets one back with his first shot on target, so it's just a first shot on target kind of day, I guess. Ho ho ho. It's a good start. It's a good start. We don't score a lot against them. We need... Oh, I was going to say, we need Trevor Edmund to have an absolutely outstanding day and um, doesn't look like he's going to. It's dominant Man City here. On a seven, George Nakaji's on a five. That's, that's not what I like to see. We need to hold him out here before half time. Goals like this that kill us. Alright, we're coming to half time. Will Gurney and George Nakaji are playing crap. I'm going to get Will Gurney off. Will Gurney off. Let's restart the game. Oh. Could get a little bit stupid now, couldn't it? Um, just gobsmacked at this point. Some short passing. Let's try that. And let's get on the well. Oh, I thought, you know. Oh, there you go. That just sums up our day. Disallowed goal. Oh. Oh, hold on. Hold the phone. It's not over yet. And it is all red at the moment. There is five minutes plus extra time left. Two minutes. Can we do something here? It doesn't look like it. Ah. We, we kind of left it all to the last minute. Kind of left it all to the last minute. That's really disappointing. Ugh. Hmm. 
We're in six though. That's good. <laughs> Oof. Oof. Hold on, hold on a minute. Who have Chelsea got on the final day? Huddersfield. Okay, they're probably going to win that. So that is Champions League football at the back. I mean, and they would get their own goal difference anyway because theirs is way better than ours. Man City have got Leicester. Okay. Okay, we could finish fifth. We could finish fifth, which would be a uh, quite outstanding achievement considering, you know, the best we've been all season is eighth. This is the highest we've been. Um... Hmm. A few six last year, so it'd be good. Disappointing about the Europa League. I kind of always thought it was going to be a bit of a, a bit of a dead game, with um, against the you know Man City would have been a lot better against a. Um, this guy wants a minimum for a fee. Fee. You're not having a minimum, minimum, minimum. Get your words out. Fee less than what I'm actually paying you. So for a four-year contract day. Right, Arsenal final day, final day, final, it is the final day and the final game. They both happen at the same time. Right, Arsenal final day of the season, day and game, same thing again. Uh, we're still trying to um, hash out a deal with Eric Guerrero here. Um, I don't know if I showed you these guys. Ian Dune coming in from Middlesbrough, another defender. He looks pretty good too. So we've got two good defenders coming in. And Mark Kinsella, left back coming in. He looks pretty good as well. So really, really ramping up the team here. Really ramping up the team. Good defensive options. Right. We've got Arsenal today. Uh, that's not what I want to look at. Past meetings. We've got a good record against Money. Played them three times amazingly. Um, same team, same team. Keep, keep them, keep them going. Yep, that looks weird. This, this is it. This is a, a huge, huge day. Um, big George and Kaji there with a goal. We're just going to leave it like this. We're not going to look and see what else happens uh, with the uh, <coughs> the rest of the, uh, the the latest scores table and all that kind of jazz. We're just going to leave it. Uh, Whatever will be, will be. Hey, Sarah, Sarah, and all that kind of jazz. And we'll see how we uh, we go. And uh, Arsenal will get another one there. She's disappointing. It's just if... Uh, it's one of those days where you have a shot on target and it goes in the back of the net. There you go. There's a third shot on target and in the back of the net. I really hate days like this when my goalkeeper is just decides not to turn up. That's four shots on target and four goals. Oh, that's five shots on target and five goals. Wow, this is Trevor Redmond. He is literally on the beach. He's like, I've given up. He's absolutely given up. Wow. Wow. That is absolutely crap. Absolute crap. Um, yeah, I'm just, I don't even know what to do with that. Shocked. Apps. Trevor Redmond has put in one of the worst performances of his life. Absolute worst performances of his life. He's not the only one. The three other players dragged off on fives, so... Yeah, just what a way to finish the season, guys. What a way. On the high of beating Manchester United, go and lose by one goal in the Europa League final, and then come in the final day. Yeah, brilliant. And then come in on the final day, and, uh, you know, with a chance to really secure European football, and just absolutely bottle it. Oh, he made a save. He made a save. Oh, that was absolute shh. Seventh. And we fall down to seventh. Because Chelsea obviously won. Man City lost. Man City lost. So, if we beat Arsenal, or if we draw with them, we would have finished six. Now, <sighs> don't 
you know what, actually, where was, let's go in here, we need to discipline all these players, discipline you, that was utter crap, I should fine him for that actually, should, should fine him, discipline player, poor performance, Jan Helberg, discipline player, poor performance, and Will Gurney, discipline player, two poor performances in a row from him, one of his worst seasons ever, accepted, 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 Really? That's a, bit, that's a bit bloody rich, isn't it? Uh, anyway, guys, that is a disappointing end to a season. We potentially could have had a trophy. Um, I mean, we've won the National League North, National League, League Two, League One, and the FA Trophy, and the Europa League one up, a one a one up, a runner up, our first major trophy uh, potential, and we. Uh, we were poor. Anyway, guys, uh, we're going to finish it there. That is the end of... How many seasons has this been now? Um, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10th season. I suppose that's pretty good, actually. Realistically, when you think about it, 10 seasons. We're a European team in the Premier League. Uh, slightly worse than last season. And, yeah, that's because we finished 6, didn't we? Yeah, bottled it. Bottled it. Absolutely bottled it. Right, guys, I'm going to go away, do my usual off-field, off-field, off-season shenanigans, and we'll be back for the start of the 2030-31 season. I'll see you guys then. Bye.